Oh, so cold. Uh, Junie, do you see anything? <sighs> it's weird. Why isn't there a single penguin? You promised, achoo, to show me penguins today. <sighs> hmm. Ah, let's go and ask the polar bear over there. Hi, polar bear. Hi. Have you seen penguins today? No, I haven't. You guys look cold. Are you okay? Uh, I didn't know the North Pole was this cold. Achoo! Uh, it must be hard to live in this cold place. <laughs> I'm a polar bear. I have a lot of fat and layers of short and long hair. My short fur keeps my body warm, and my long hair keeps me from getting wet. You can stand the cold because of your hair. Yeah. Did you know that my skin color is black? I can stand the cold better because black skin absorbs sunlight and keeps my body warm. Really? Do you see the black soles of my feet here? The skin color inside the fur is the same. I see. By the way, you have very big feet. <laughs> my heavy body doesn't fall into the snow thanks to my two big feet. My feet are covered with tiny bumps so I don't fall even on slippery snow. Oh, you were looking for penguins. Ask the arctic fox over there. She might know. We will! Thank you, polar bear! Hi, arctic fox. Have you seen penguins today? <laughs> Who are penguins? Aw, you haven't seen them either. Wow, Junie! Arctic fox is so cute! I agree. I'm cuter than the other foxes you know. Animals that live in cold places like us have blunt heads, snouts, and short legs so that we don't lose heat from our bodies. <laughs> That's cool! You are very white and furry! I can stand the cold well because I have a lot of hair and fat like polar bears. My white fur protects me from enemies at the snowy North Pole. If we play hide and seek with you, Arctic Fox, I don't think we'll find you. <laughs> but after the snow melts and winter passes, we change our fur clothes to another color. Oh, why don't you ask the walrus over there where the penguin is? Yeah, it, it was, was nice meeting you, Arctic Fox. Hi, walrus. Oh, hi, guys. You have ivories like elephants. Yeah. My ivories are also called morse. I use these as walking sticks when I walk and as hooks when I go up on the ice. And you have a lot of whiskers. Yes, I do. I have about 450 whiskers. They are so stiff that they are really useful for finding clams underwater. I do love clams. By the way, why did you call me? Oh, we wanted to ask you if you know where penguins are. Penguins? Penguins are not here. Uh, they're not? Nope. The penguins you're looking for live at the South Pole. This is the North Pole. What's going on, Junie? They live in cold places, so I thought they live at the North Pole, too. Thank you, Walrus. We're going to the South Pole. Okay. Goodbye. Choopy, 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 choo! To the South Pole! Achoo! Uh, the South Pole is colder. The South Pole is actually colder than the North Pole because it is covered with thick ice and cannot absorb warm solar heat. I read it in a book. Oh, do penguins live in this cold place? I really want to meet cute penguins. We have a lot of fat in our bodies, but it's not easy to overcome the cold alone at the South Pole. So we stick together. Penguin! Cute penguins were at the South Pole all along. Hi, I'm Emperor Penguin. I represent the South Pole. 
I look cute when I waddle with short legs. But when I go into the water, I'm a gentleman of the South Pole who swims fast. You are! You really look like a gentleman wearing a tuxedo! <laughs> By the way, is this your baby? The penguin following you? Yes, he is. It was hard to hold an egg on my feet while enduring the cold of the South Pole. I'm so proud that my baby came out of the egg in good health. What did Mother Penguin do? When Mother Penguin lays an egg and goes to eat, it's up to me, the father penguin, to hatch the egg. The egg doesn't freeze if we put it on our feet and incubate it with warm feathers. Whoa! You couldn't have been moving because of the egg. Nope. I incubate the egg for two months. I don't even eat anything. That's amazing! Hmm, I'm glad we came all the way to the South Pole to meet the penguins. Penguin is a true gentleman of the South Pole. <laughs> Am I? Guys, would you like to listen to the other animal dad stories who take care of their babies like penguins? From the river I'm a daddy stickleback I can't take my eyes off of you every day I fight to the end Even in any dangerous attacks I will protect you To make sure you're okay Pot-bellied I'm a daddy seahorse I endure rough flow Wind my tail to not be found I hide between water plants For your safety, of course I will wait for you To be born safe and sound I'm okay, I'm your dad Because I really love you I'm okay, I'm your dad Because I care about you it's because I'm your dad It's because you're my world It's because you're Everything to me From the North Pole I'm a daddy Arctic wolf Despite the strong winds I go out to get food for you the only thing I want is your happiness, that's all My love for you is so tried and true You must be hungry too Oh, there's my dad! From the South Pole, I'm a daddy emperor penguin I can't take my eyes off The most precious kid there has ever been I'll never let you go For you I'm here to stay I'm okay, I'm your dad Because I really love you I'm okay, I'm your dad Because I care about you It's because I'm your dad because you're my world It's because you're Everything to me Chippy 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 Choo Like and subscribe